What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, Wack 100 gets pressed by Levels and Beast for brokering a feature between Kodak Black and Takashi 69 because in the rap industry man takashi 69 is considered to be radioactive and off limits simply because he has a snitch reputation and whack 100 says that he's just doing business and he makes good on his word that he never allows the streets to dictate his moves in the industry it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to whack 100 shout out to levels in the trenches this is getty radio let's go Hey, hey, yo, level. Yo, bro, These things gonna be talking only, about be on That's the only thing. Man, that's the listen. only thing that's gonna really fit what you did. I'm like, oh, I did. I don't give a fuck. What, I listen. Um, you were smart. You probably one of the smartest niggas I really know, right? You really a wolf in this motherfucking business shit, right? But you out of pocket though. I'm gonna let you know. He out of pocket. You, he out of fucking pocket. He done let. Listen. He done pumped life back in the six. Man, you know how much. Miami looks nasty out there. Miami. You know. No, listen, nigga. The streets is. Hold on, Tay. The streets is dead. Nobody don't give a. My boy S class. Know what I'm saying? Shout out about the headline of Mike and live. Shout out to all my my man PK. You know what I'm saying? My security team over there, out of the guards. What you mean, Miami looking back? Miami on Miami is, listen, 6 Miami, 9 listen, 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 Miami definitely lit because 6 9 pulling out. He probably around my neighborhood somewhere in Boca. So he pulling out somewhere. <laughs> Papano, uh, Kodak somewhere. He down there pulling out. Niggas has got a bag floating around. Wack just said he never seen that many zeros. I ain't never seen that. You ain't never seen I that many you. zeros. I heard I got Hell the no, no, I don't know motherfucker. You was in the bed somewhere, probably next to R and B, uh, trolling. Had you, me. He, he, and he tried to he tried to have me at the video shoot, Tay. I, was I almost got him. He almost got I was saying, man, I'm you on my way right up, now. You was about to pull up. Hey, I was four hours was away. <laughs> hey Wack, you had about to touch down with you? I thought the nigga was at home, right? So I said, Levels, where you at? I said, come fuck with me. He like, damn, uh, come up the way, right? Where he told me. I said, you should have came come from up here out all night. So what I was going to do, because we went in a big warehouse. Everything was happening in the warehouse where I was at didn't look like nothing. So I was going to have Levels outside the parking lot. Fuck with me hollering. And then I was going to let the niggas walk out. So I could have said, well, Levels, you was there. Yeah, that nigga tried to lie. Put you in a trick bag? Put him in a trick bag, Wack? Put me in the <laughs> trick bag. Put me in the fucking trick bag, man. But <clears throat> so listen, Tay Bando. Let me ask y'all this is this. If y'all would have got a check from a vape company, the partnership, listen, Wack, I know you're the only nigga that can make this happen. This is good for our brand. Look at the business side of it, Tay. What you doing, Tay? Well, that ain't how it happened. I kinda went and found them too. Alright, how it happened, huh? <laughs> Tell us I need to know how the fuck this happened, nigga. Cause I need to know how to spin it. Cause you know the jail's already calling. The okay. jail just was on my line on the three way. They over there. That's my cousin that's locked up in Georgia. Well, he calling. I like told him like outside of eight, six, nine. Usually his first hour on the release, he usually does two or three million dollars in merch billing, right? Every time he drops some his merch, whatever he got up. So if you look at what he got on in that picture. Right? All that, they knew merch, the vape company's merch. Right? If you look at what's in their hands, it's they vapes. Today, watch the strategy. Watch the, watch the strategy. Today in Las Vegas, it's the whole vape thing going on. It's a big old vape motherfucking all weekend in convention. Las Vegas. Convention. It's a vape convention. My hold down there. Right now. Yeah, right now in Las Vegas. So, you know. Uh, they they might be down there. I don't know. They just might be down there. Billboards and all down there. You, you know. <laughs> I already see the play. Yeah, I see the play. 
That Aubrey. motherfucking buddy clip. <laughs> Yo. I bought I bought away. Hey man, listen. Listen, man. I, I just trying to so- I'm trying to teach my youngins, bro, because we was raised on some fucked up shit. <clears throat> man, let your business be your business. If you selling burgers at a burger stand, is you gonna ask every nigga where he from when he walk up to buy a burger and fries? What you been to jail for? You just want to sell your bu- man. I just want to do my business, man. The people, if they don't like the music, it won't stream. Shit, prove me wrong. They don't like it, it ain't gonna stream. Gunner shit, Gunner, the nigga that snitched on Thugger, his one song is out streaming Thugger's whole album. So what we talking about right now? The nigga one single is out streaming Thugger's whole album collectively. Hey, and little baby shit, right? So what what is this like today right now, bro? I'm doing business. I don't like all this. The streets is a mess. It's gone. Now I'm not gonna say that the streets is a myth, but I will say that the notion that every street dude follows the rules of the streets, meaning every street dude is not gonna tell if they get jammed up, that in and of itself is mythological because we see it today, right? Everybody's telling, everybody's ratting, and now. Being a snitch is not even career suicide, man. People are often embraced, man. And I believe 6ix9ine kind of spearheaded this whole movement. He was kind of shunned a little bit, but not all the way. And seems to me he's gotten bigger ever since he's gotten out, man. And just look, he has now secured a feature with Kodak Black, man. We can just say this, man, only in America, right? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Let's get back to it. It's shit up. Troy ass stole my shit. The streets is a bit. This stole shit over shit. with. This shit bent. This shit done. That, all right, bro. Listen, I am in the lane of business. That's so, it. So do we condone rats if they talented or what? Like, what are we doing? This is the thing, right? This is real shit. Um, now, if I take a dude that I know is foul and I take him to my neighborhood and my projects, my park, put him in front of the signs and all that, that's a different thing you're doing. Now, that ain't right. But if you doing business with a motherfucker, you just doing business like that happened in the bill. They say whack, this nigga over here got a hundred million dollar deal, but he's shitting on himself. That right, the nigga shit whack, he smell like shit. Okay, well tell the nigga, email me the contract and I'm gonna send him my wire information. He can still smell like shit and I can still do business with him. But I give a fuck about him shitting on himself for me. That's so his you, motherfucker. He got you a, know niggas, you got Gucci bad dissing you. You got motherfucking gotta put you in a track because gotta really secretly want to do business with you. He just he just keeping you relevant in his in his catalog because he know once Thug and them come to court, it's gonna get ugly for him. So he gonna need whack one hundred to last on. So basically, you the savior for the rats. Who you? No, bro. These are talented young men. Of entertainment that just made a mistake, huh? That got caught jammed up. That wasn't uh, uh, street. Listen, listen, I'm that not just caught got up. Caught jammed up, huh? I am not caught up in any street shit with none of these oh, individuals. Actually. None of these individuals. I don't know what niggas is doing. Now the ones you got to question is the ones that so-called been in the streets, so-called know what time it is, and made a decision to deal with that. Where I come from, the nigga that brought them to the table is responsible. Man, look, click the link. I'm dropping this in the war chest. Uh, Whack 100. Click the link up there. Go to the motherfucking war chest. Uh-huh. I'm dropping this link of Whack 100. Comfortable in this motherfucking bed. Comfortable next to R&B in this motherfucking head. Damn, it's my little son birthday today. Yo, Hold man. On. You know, I really thought, I said, damn, I'm finna get attacked like a motherfucker here, here, Oh, yeah. Where are all the be... people at? I know these niggas be mad. That's what I'm saying. They want levels. To, they want levels to, and beats to hold you accountable. And you they, are, though. And we, yeah. You are, though. Like, I can't. We got to do it. We had to put you here real quick, man. We, where did everybody at? I got to get my props to KO, because he ain't going for this shit. He ain't going for it. Uh... Well, you got Bill Blass down there. You know, me and he was in the penitentiary together. For real, for real. We was really on the yard together. It riots and spread the all kind of shit. Oh, that go Oh, on. get him. Oh, hey, wait. break it down. Grimey's just coming in. Now, he hates my 6 9 business. 
Pull that nigga. I just sent him an you invite, Wack. Like, I just sent him an invite. Now that's one nigga. <laughs> Yo, P. I know. It's finally gonna talk this shit. He telling me, they telling me that I'm in violation because I got 6 9 a feature with Kodak Black and a video shot. They said I fucked up the culture. You in violation for doing business? That what they wait said. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Damn. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. You got what? You got Wow. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Oh. Hey, Crimey, did you hear that? Crimey. Yeah. Crimey hate my business yeah. with 6 9 He stay loyal to it. Crimey, all the people that talk shit to me about 6 9 levels. My motherfucking left hand, he hold me a, a, accountable, put me in a hot seat, cause he's saying the feature I got done with six nine with Kodak Black, he said I fucked up the culture, I'm in violation, all this crazy shit. Now Crimey, you remember I told you I'ma get him a feature. Did I not say that back in the old room? Nah, that's a fact. You, you definitely proved me wrong. <laughs> ask any question you want, Crime is the floor is open if you want to ask him something. I, I don't got no questions, bro. Hold on, Crime. Hey, I feel you, Crime. That's why I just shut the fuck up. That nigga just no, going to abuse. Crime used to be on my ass, bro. That nigga used to be on me about that 6 9 shit. He used to tell me I was capping. All kind of Crimey's. So you saying. Am I wrong? I just did business. I didn't write none of the but, words. But why I had to be Kodak, though? That's crazy. One of the best and biggest niggas in the game. One of people's favorites. <laughs> and they about to be what mad. you mean? That's Kodak Black. And let me tell you what else I got to do. I got to listen to 30 unreleased Kodak. That nigga got some shit. 6 oh. 9 ain't gonna give a motherfucking explanation. And Yak don't owe a that explanation. I let the world know that I'm doing business with 6 9 And when I do business with a person, I do business. He had a request, and uh, you know, I did what I do. I went out there and fulfilled the request. I made sure both parties was well, well taken care of. Shout out to Fume Vapes, my business partner in this situation. Shout out to 10K for distributing the situation. Shout out to Atlantic Records. For clearing the situation. And y'all stay tuned. Pay attention. Fuel, appreciate it. First time I seen a motherfucking check with that many zeros. Yeah. Catch up. All right, we're going to leave it right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 says that he secured the feature with Kodak Black on Takashi 6 9s song or album, man. And it seems to me that Wack 100 is trying to do big business. And it seems to me that Wack 100 is just trying to keep up with the times, man. The snitching thing don't matter, man. They say the streets is dead. They say the streets is a myth. So if you're trying to operate in business and you're using street rhetoric, street mentality, and street movements you're gonna fall behind and you're gonna miss out on a lot of money man now how do you guys feel about the streets dictating the way a person moves in business man do you think that it's smart for an individual right especially a rap artist a music artist or any kind of industry that you can name for a person to worry about whether a person ratted or not man and why do we care so much about whether a person has told on anybody or not when it comes down to doing business now i always thought that if it don't make dollars it don't make sense hey man if it works hey man run with it man that's what the industry does that's what the rap industry does that's what the labels do the labels dictate what's going on in the world when it comes down to the business side of things they don't not sign people because they're rats. Actually, they'll actually sign you, especially if you got a story to tell, if you got a following, if you got a large following on Instagram, they don't care nothing about what you've done in those streets. They separate the two. So I have to ask people this, why can't we do that in our culture? Why can't we separate the streets from business in our culture? Why do we have to say, hey man, this guy is not right in the streets, and if he's not right in the streets, then he's not good 
for business, man. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. And also, man, how do you guys feel about the Takashi 69 Kodak Black feature, man? Are you gonna listen? Are you waiting for it? Do you think it's gonna shake up the world? Do you think this is a good move for Kodak Black? Do you think this is gonna affect Kodak Black's street credibility? Because Boosie has already come out and responded to this situation and said that Kodak Black has no morals, man. At least that's what I saw in the blogs. You already know Boosie is gonna have something to say about anybody that's not walking that fine line of streets versus uh, being a square, man. Boosie stands on his 10 toes, and that's why a lot of people love him, man, because he holds people accountable, man, even some of his own very close friends, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Is it over for the street dudes in the game, man? Because Gunner's album is doing very well, like Wack 100 said in the audio, right? He said that Gunner's one song is streaming more than Young Thug's entire album. Now, I may think that that may be because of the quality of the music. I haven't heard either of the projects, but I have also heard that a lot of that Young Thug album sounds dated, sounds old, a lot of old material. We already know he's been locked up for quite some time. So obviously it's going to be old material. Gunna got out. He had an opportunity to work on some fresh product and he delivered something that's fresh and that the people love it, man. So the people don't care. The audience don't care if you told or not. Gunna is an example of that. Takashi 69 is an example of that. And Finesse Two Times is going to be an example of that as well because people are on his head about his ratting situation, allegedly his ratting situation that he had going on when he was a kid, right? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. This has been Gator Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.